complex systems like social systems or traffic systems are characterized by a nonlinear dynamics. That means uh, effects are not necessarily proportional to the courses. And that means that uh, large impacts on the system can have small effects or small impacts can have large effects. So um, small changes can drive the system towards instability. And then when a certain so-called tipping point is crossed, uh, the system becomes unstable and a completely different system behavior shows up. Some examples are stop and go traffic that is suddenly occurring in smooth traffic flow or the breakdown of financial markets, for example, or the outbreak of a social revolution. Emergence means that the interaction of single elements leads to new properties of the system. And that basically creates all the complexity of our world from biology to social systems. So for example, the formation of lanes of uniform walking direction in counter streams of pedestrians is one example where we have a more fluent organization or something even like a collective intelligence based on local interactions. Uh, another example is the emergence of cooperation in situations where people have competitive interactions or even the creation of social norms. Evolution determines what are the patterns that are finally surviving. In some sense, it's uh, the alternative concept to optimization. Optimization is trying to uh, find the maximum performance of a system, while evolution is creating a gradual improvement of the system, taking into account also the robustness of the system. In contrast, optimization may drive a system not only towards maximum efficiency, but at the same time uh, towards instability. And uh, evolution, however, would select those solutions uh, which are performing more successfully and uh, more robustly. Heterogeneity is a very important element in biological and social systems, while it's not so pronounced in physical systems. That's why biological and social systems are so much more difficult to understand. However, it's not only a matter of difficulty. Heterogeneity also has a functional aspect, because in many systems, heterogeneity creates a higher level of robustness. In physics, one would think that in the course of time, the final state of a system will be disorder. That's kind of what the second law of thermodynamics suggests. However, biological and social systems are characterized by an inflow of energy and information. And that uh, creates new kind of structures, new order.